possible and that's going to be hd mp4 i'm going to click on download and now the clip is start downloading because i am logged in obviously so now that we have done that we're going to wait the, until the video has finished downloading then we're going to drag that one into after effects and then i'm going to show you guys obviously how to speed this up <laughs> What's happening guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new After Effects tutorial and as you can see I'm in a really other uh, different setting than usual because I decided for this video I'm going to, uh, to uh, approach things differently so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to use and uh, edit stock footage so this video is also made by videoblocks.com and I want to mention a few things about videoblocks so videoblocks has one of the fastest growing largest stock video libraries with over 3 million videos, uh, After Effects and motion backgrounds. This includes the only contributor marketplace that gives 100% of the commission back to the artists. And all of these clips come obviously with a royalty free agreement uh, so you can get hit with copyright claims. That's a really, really awesome thing. And on top of that as well, we're giving away seven days of video blocks you can try and get access to this massive video library and royalty free license for free so we're giving away seven days obviously of the of the free trial so make sure to check out the description you can find the link everything you need to know there so i would say let's get started with this after effects tutorial so in this video guys i'm gonna show you guys how to edit and, uh, and uh, how to edit and use stock footage in after effects so as you can see we are on videoblocks.com and i'm gonna show you guys how to create an awesome sunset time lapse in after effects so as you can see on the website we have footage we even have after effects like a special tab for after effects uh, projects like intro business logo reveal uh, but we're gonna go we're gonna go ahead and look for sunset as you can see right here on the uh, search bar then as you can see if we click on the little loop we will see a lot a lot a lot of sunset footage uh, videos on here that we can choose from so obviously when you sign up and you got the membership uh, you can obviously download everything without the actual watermarks so i'm going to just go ahead and download a one that's a pretty longer one because the time lapse is going to make the video really short so let's see what kind of time lapses we have right here uh, we have 15 seconds 12 seconds 15 14 13 12 so i'm going to go ahead and pick this sunset reflections as you can see i'm going to click on there then i'm going to just click on download i'm going to pick the highest quality possible and that's going to be hd mp4 i'm going to click on download and now the clip is start downloading because i am logged in obviously so now that we have done that we're going to wait the, until the video has finished downloading then we're going to drag that one into after effects and then i'm going to show you guys obviously how to speed this up and how to make an awesome time lapse so as you can see the clip has finished downloading let's drag this one into after effects Okay, so now that we have the video in After Effects, I'm gonna show you guys how to speed this up. So as you can see, this is our time lapse. And what we're gonna do, first of all, to uh, speed this up, is we're gonna right click on the layer and we're gonna uh, come over to uh, time and we're gonna pick enable time remapping. Now, as you can see, there is a keyframe appearing right at the beginning and at the end. Now, I want to mention that if you drag this, uh, keyframe more to the beginning of the clip if we put this one to half and if we play this back it should be sped up looks a little bit laggy though but this is how you do it guys that is how you create a time lapse in after effects you just want to mess around with this keyframe if i bring it back even closer it's going to look way faster as you can see so this is how you get a proper time lapse in after effects using stock footage provided by videoblocks.com like i said in the beginning make sure to check out the description you can find the link up to, to the free trial and that is basically it so i want to thank you for watching thank you for the community support i will see you guys in the next video so until then i will see you guys very soon just alex helper